jokes prepared, if believe it or not. Some real jokes, if you can believe that, guys. So, let's get started. Let's do this. All right, everybody. If you guys are watching on YouTube, thank you for hanging in there, watching with us today. It is time for the Huddle Cam HD Live Show. We call it Let's Chat Live, and today is actually episode eight. So we're gonna be going over our joystick controller. It's a really cool joystick, reminds me of like the arcade days. We're gonna be talking about the brand new Huddle Cam HD 20X and showing you some live footage, some really cool applications for that. And that's what we're talking about today, so all this and more. Coming up next. Welcome to Let's Chat Live, presented by Huddle Cam HD. Broadcasting live every Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific and 12 p.m. Eastern on Facebook and YouTube. Tune in weekly as we uncover the convergence of AV and IT. Your front seat to industry professional interviews in the exciting video conferencing and video collaboration space. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to episode 9. It says episode 8, we forgot to update that, it's okay. You might be able to do it on the fly, Michael, but here we are live on Facebook and YouTube, and today we're talking about our joystick controller and the Huddle Cam HD 20X, which had a price drop to now $10.99 from $14.99. So it's one of the most affordable little um, 20X USB conference cameras that can also be used for live streaming, and now you pretty much get the joystick for free because the joystick is only $299 and the camera is now basically $400 less, $300 less. So essentially this combo package is what we're talking about today, a really cool combination of joystick controller and 20X. Hello, Daniel. Thanks for joining. Uh, if you have any questions along our presentation, this is live, so we'll be showing your comments up above and I love to hear your comments, guys, so jump right in there. I'll... I'll mention that Tess is not here today. She is getting her nails done apparently around this time. She's going to a wedding soon. So we'll be, uh, you know, she's having a great time, I'm sure, just taking the day off and having a nice time. So with that being said, um, you know, these, the joystick controller really reminds me of my days in the gaming world. I don't know if anyone ever used to play video games from time to time, but uh, it really reminds me of... Um, Minecraft, you know, and having a joystick controller and being able to kind of make it a little bit more fun. Uh, camera operation with like a uh, remote control and um, this television um, can be um, on, with a remote control, you know, it, it works. And this is what comes with the, the camera. You know, the cameras come with a, with a remote control, but having a joystick makes it so much more fun. So it kind of reminds me of my days with Minecraft. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to throw a joke out there. If Minecraft had a national sport, what do you think it would be? This one's pretty obvious. Obviously, it would be boxing. Uh, ha ha! Funny, funny. But no, uh, in all honesty, um, you know, I was thinking if Minecraft had a movie ever, it definitely would be a blockbuster. Do do do. Ding! You can see the younger kids over there playing, and I was watching, actually, uh, looking up some of this stuff, and uh, some of the actually the teachers it's in today's and day and age are using video games to help uh, educate the students. And I thought that was really interesting. Um, video games may actually be a way of teaching students how to do things. And I do believe in that. I really do. But I definitely would say that a joystick will definitely help anyone in a volunteer space, anyone in a educational space to pick up camera operations so much quicker and easier with that tie-in of all the virtual and kind of the hardware to, to control something like live streaming. So that's what we're talking about today. Do you want to read me the question, Michael? Can the settings of the huddle cams be adjusted over USB via an application? Or do they need an IR remote for that? There are some settings that can be controlled, although in this presentation, since you brought it up, I will show you how to do that uh, with the IR remote, if I can find the IR remote, because I know I had it here somewhere, um, but I don't see it anymore. Um, but the uh, yes, mainly the IR remote, really, to be honest. But you can do, definitely do it with some settings, some contrast, some brightness, things like that, from the USB connection as well. 
So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the joystick. So the joystick controller was only $299. It's been completely redone here, and I want to walk you through it a little bit here. Um, so the, the new thing with the, my Telestrator, I will show you, uh, the new thing is that we have camera one, two, three, and four. These are the buttons here. So these quickly allow us to go ahead and jump from you know camera one to camera two to camera three and to camera four very quickly and easily. So you can see right here it says cam one, cam two, cam three, cam four. What happens when we want to get to cam five, let's say? Well, all we have to do is we hit the address button, hit five, and enter, and you can see here that we're at cam five. So pretty quickly we can get to cam six, cam seven, up, oh, I hit 47, cam eight, Cam 9, we can go through these pretty quickly, but we've always got these hot keys here, which are probably the most used keys on the keyboard. The next we have here is being able to switch between manual focus and automatic focus. So manual focus, automatic focus, manual exposure, automatic exposure. So these buttons here are quite popularly used because when you go from manual to auto, that's when these buttons work. So if we're on autofocus, the camera is automatically focusing. These buttons are not going to be doing any focusing. We have to turn it to manual focus and then we have fine-tuned settings of the focus. That's the same with the exposure. So if we want to be able to open the iris, we need to turn it on to manual exposure in order to use the iris buttons and the focus buttons. So that's just, just the next kind of part of, of using this. Hi Mark, thanks for joining. Um, so that gives you that idea. Now let's talk about the presets. This is probably again one of the most popular buttons on the entire product here is the set and the call buttons. And the reason why, I'll use my arrows, I like my arrows better, the set and the call buttons. Because those are really di two different modes. So if we're in the set mode, we are setting presets. So we have a question. Okay. Uh, does this come in an in, oh, sorry, outdoor version? I'm a storm chaser and would like to mount on my vehicle for live mobile shots of tornadoes. It does not come with an outdoor uh, model, but I will say that it's a metal case. So it's a hard metal case. It has a three-year warranty. Using it outside will probably void the warranty. It's not meant for outdoor use. But uh, I'm not sure if you could buy key uh, protectors, but I think if you put key protectors on these, this joystick's not going to go anywhere. I mean, it's really, really hard, um, hard metal case. I think you'll be okay, but... Um, that's just my that's just my thought. But let me zoom out really quickly. I want to show you guys just a little bit more here. Here's the camera. So what we have here, let me get rid of my arrows, is I want to show you guys how to set and call presets. It's probably one of the most popular things to do with this joystick. So like I said, to set, we're going to use the set button. And then to call, we're going to use the call button. But they're separate. Um, they are completely separate like uh, modes. So when I'm in the set mode, I can set a preset here and click enter. Then I'll look up. This is the Huddle Cam 20X. We're going to show you the footage from this in a little bit as well. And I will go ahead and set two. And then I can control the camera. And I can set, I mean, or I'm still in set mode. Set three. Again, move a little more. Set four. So that was all done in set mode. To get out of set mode, what we want to do is we want to hit the escape button. That's how we get out of set mode into call mode. Now I'm in call mode. So now I'm calling presets. And the reason why we do that is very simple. What we want to do is we want to um, basically set all of our presets in advance and then go ahead and start calling them throughout our product presentation or, or our live stream or whatever it is. So normally what I suggest is to have a notepad. I should have brought one. I have a notepad here with preset one is X, preset two is Y, preset three is podium, preset four is wide shot, for example. So now when I hit call one enter, 
goes to preset one, I'm still in call mode because I've set all my presets. All I need to do is call between two, three, and four. So we have a question in the Facebook chat from Wendy. She asks, how many cameras can you control with the joystick? Great. Well, let's show that one on the screen and go back to my shot here. Um, essentially, uh, you can control like 200 and uh, I think you can, might even be able to do 300. Um, if we hit the address button, let me try 500. 255. 255 is the maximum, so way more than you need. But that does bring me into the next portion of this segment where I wanted to show the cascade cable and how and why it works. So if you see here on the back of the joystick, we have a DB9 cable. This is always comes with the joystick and it plugs into the camera, which I'm going to go ahead and actually unplug and replug this back in. Actually, I guess you'd see it best like that. You can see here it's got power. It's got USB which is plugged into my computer, and we'll show the video from that in a moment. Uh, and it has something, an in and an out port, okay? These are 8-pin mini DIN connectors, and it just plugs in right there. So what happens when we want to go to the second camera? Well, that is when we use an 8-pin mini DIN cascade cable. And these cascade cables go out one and into the next. That's why they're both 8-pin mini DIN, because if you see the next camera, let's say I wanted to do a 10x camera, we've got another in and out there, and it would come out of this one into the next one. So that's called a daisy chain control cable system, and that is how that works. So what I wanted to do now, because the 20x now has such a lower price point, what I wanted to do was I wanted to go ahead and oh, go to cam one. I went to cam uh, address zero one, enter. There we go. I went to cam 255 there just to check to see how many we could do. Um, I wanted to show the video from the 20X because I think that the 20X has some really good video. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and share with you the Huddle Cam HD video from this camera. And that should be able to be pulled up. Um, I have it ready. You got it ready? Yeah. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and share it, I guess. Okay. Here we go. So there's Michael. <laughs> um, here I am with the joystick. Um, hey, guys. <laughs> so yeah, this camera is set kind of looking at a lot of... Uh, other lights and different things, so it might be showing a little bit, the lighting isn't set for this camera to be on this table. But I just wanted to show kind of a zoom in, how far it could zoom in. Any chance to have cable-free cascading? No, probably not. Okay. Uh, uh, like, like wireless, no. But I want that, so this is the 20X, I just wanted to show you guys quickly how, hi live on phone. From Warsaw, Poland. Thanks for joining. I just want to show you guys how far a 20x can zoom in. Can these be controlled by AMX and Crestron? Yes, they can, Robert. We can certainly do that. Um, that's easy for us, and that's one of the reasons why a lot of people use huddle cams with that kind of stuff. So, there you go. Just want to give you a quick live demo. He's been to Poland before, yay! Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Is the sensor of the 20X the same as the 10X huddle cam? Yeah, that's a good uh, good timing with the with the 10X being right here like that. Um, yes, it is the exact same sensor. It's just a different lens. So there's the 10X there. We've shown that nice off, shot. I think, in in another shot there. Nice but look shot. how crisp this camera is. Looks good. And the camera's got a 20X lens. The 10X is a little less expensive. Oh, here's one. Um, daisy chain power and video in that eight pin as well and any lag of distance with extended cables. Okay, so you have to run power and video and control all separately. So actually, this is not a bad shot now that we're showing this. Um, oh, let's go back to this shot over here. Yep. Um, this actually shows right here 
that I have uh, power, USB 3.0, and Visca control. So these Visca controls here are what we, we connect to with the serial joystick. The lag is incredibly low, but we're doing dedicated control cabling. So the, the, the lag is almost instantaneous. There's basically no lag. I mean, we're talking 10, 20 milliseconds of latency. With the, it's instantaneous is what most people say. Hi, Jimmy. Thanks for joining. Good to see you. So that, I wanted to show you, A, the 20x optical zoom of the... Uh, of the 20X huddle cam here. B, I wanted to show you guys how the joystick works because now with the price drop of the huddle cam 20X, you can get the joystick and the 20X for the same price as the 20X used to be. We really reduced the price $300 uh, for 2018 because we wanted to make it a little bit more affordable for those places that can want to make the right decision to get maybe a little bit more optical zoom and be able to zoom in across a room or a different space. These are really versatile cameras. The only thing with huddle cams yet is a USB 3.0 cable that you know you don't want to extend too far. Um, there are USB 3.0 extensions that we'll talk about next week actually with Icron, but usually with USB 3.0, uh, the included cabling is roughly like nine feet, uh, which is like three meters. And the, what does the USB connection do? So the USB connection is just like a webcam. You plug it into your computer, you can open it with GoToMeeting, with WebEx, with Skype. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> How's the easing of the joystick? Okay, let's show that from the, from the above shot here, and you'll see. So two things that we're looking at right now. One is the instantaneousness. Okay. Then the other thing we're looking at is the ease. So see how slow it's going? And then we can go pretty darn fast. So we can definitely ease in, into a shot by going slow and then faster. But we can also ease out of a shot by going slower. So these are, this joystick is great for vari what we call variable speed control. We can go very, very slow, and we can go very fast, and it, it's all done in a very intuitive space here with the joystick controller. Claudier is saying hello from Brazil. He loves these cameras. All of them have been in my dreams. <laughs> Claudier must be one of our customers from Brazil. Thank you uh, for... for uh, for saying that you enjoy them, we have cameras that start at just, uh, this is an all-in-one microphone ca camera. It's got a dual forming microphone away so you can get audio and video. But when we get up to the larger models that we've been talking about, the 20X, the 10X, um, those, we don't usually cr create a, put a microphone on them because they're meant to catch, catch shots that are further away. And at that point, you really need like a wireless microphone or something of that nature. Now, before I go too far, I do want to mention that the Huddle Cam Go, we are giving this away in just five minutes. Someone is going to win a Huddle Cam Go. We're going to pull three winners and hopefully get someone to win this today. Um, in order to win, all you have to do is enter at huddlecamhc.com slash show. So don't forget to enter, and uh, that will be very interesting to see who wins that. Um, Alex is saying, what camera are you using for this wide shot? So right now we are using a um, PTZ Optics Z Cam. Um, the Z Cam, we, we stick with the PTZ Optics for our studio shots. These huddle cams we usually recommend for video conferencing and then lower end live streaming. Can we find DB8 cables that are long? Technically, we're talking about DB9. Uh, DB9 is a 9-pin cable, and then, yes, you're right, 8 pins on the Cascade cables. Right on our website, Maroon, um, if you go to huddlecamhd.com slash cables, under the accessories tab there, we sell in 25, 50, 75, and 100-foot lengths. If you need a longer length, you can actually uh, go to... What is it? I believe it's on the huddlecamhd.com slash cables page. Let me double check here. Um, oh, it's not there. We can cut custom lengths, and there's a calculator for that. I may have to email it to you, but we can cut custom lengths for the cables if needed. So just, just reach out. Can you control the PTZ with the hardware interface? Can you use a browser interface? 
So from the hardware interface, if you're talking about the joystick, of course you can control PTZ, that's what it does. Um, the uh, 20X and 10X models uh, do require either the IR remote or a joystick controller. Um, but some of the cameras that we mentioned in our previous shows that support UVC control, that allows us to control it with a application on a Windows computer or even something like Zoom video conferencing or web conferencing software that supports UVC. We were showing it with Zoom, vMix, and um, an app that we have as well in a couple past episodes. So, uh, so the, the, the lower end models actually support UVC, the USB 2.0 models. The 3.0 models is all about that USB 3.0 dedicated uncompressed 1080p video. And so quality of the video is of the utmost importance with the USB 3.0 connection. And the control, if you're extending it hundreds of feet, um, is usually done over the serial connection. Can you buy this HD camera in Australia? Yes, you can. In fact, uh, Madison Technologies, Madison Technologies in Sydney, Australia, Ken Kyle in specific, is the person that you want to reach out to. If you want to email partners at huddlecamhd.com, they'll send you over that way. Um, but yes, they are in stock and available in Australia. What is the wireless microphone that you use? Uh, thank you, I get that question quite a lot. Um, this is the DPA D5 microphone. So what I'm thinking we do at this point is let's roll the credits. I'll talk a little bit about the microphone that I use. And uh, I'm gonna go over to our table over here and answer questions in the Q&A section. So I'll see you guys in just a moment. Welcome back, everybody. Um, questions coming in. Uh, in the pre-show, I mentioned that Tess is taking the day off. This is one of the first. This is the first episode of Huddle Cam Live that she's missed. Um, and she is taking off for her girlfriend's wedding. And at this time, right now, I'm, I, she, I think she said that she was actually doing her nails. Getting her nails done for the wedding that she's part of. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a winner. Here we go. And we have Greg Postma from London, Canada. Greg Postma. And I'm going to put that into the chat room. And Greg is going to win a Huddle Cam Go. Grab that. Greg's going to win a Huddle Cam Go. Um, these are great little 299 web conferencing all in one units C camera, speakerphone, microphone, all in one unit. Uh, they come in black and white. Tess is alive, don't worry. NDI did not kill her. <laughs> there you go. Where can I buy them in Brazil? So in Brazil, um, you would just email partners at ptzoptics.com. I don't know every country's local dealers, but we will definitely get you in touch with them. Now, next. Uh, so, yeah, so Greg Postma. Whoop. I'm going to type his name into the huddle cam chat too. And then, um, if Greg, if you're here, let us know. You do have to be live in the chat in order to win the prize. If you are not, we will go ahead and draw a new winner. So Greg is from London, Ontario, Canada. We're going to pull three winners. If we don't get someone, we'll just wait till next week. 
Um, but we're going to keep pulling winners here. So I'm going to go to the next one. At this time, if you can let us know that you're in the chat and interested in winning, um, just say, hey, I'm here. My name is Greg, and I'm from XYZ. That helps us kind of get through the drawing process. Okay. Next is Nick Pendergrass from San Francisco, California. Postma. Greg Postma. Will the huddle cam go be upgraded to support USB 3? Um, we are working on a new model, but that will not replace the USB 2 model. Um, USB 3.0 is a higher quality connection. In fact, it's 10 times faster than USB 2.0. So I know that a USB 3.0 model is in the works. It's going to be more expensive. It's going to be another price point. It will provide superior video quality and maybe even superior audio quality. Uh, but it's, it, I, I, it will not replace the original Huddle Cam Go. Uh, it would be, and this is almost maybe even a year down the line. This is a long time away, but when it does come out, it could be less. You never know with development schedules, but when it does come out, it will replace the USB 2 model. It will not, uh, oh, well, it, sorry, it will not replace the USB 2 model. It will be a separate model. It'll be like the USB 2, the Huddle Cam Go and the Huddle Cam Go Pro. <laughs> That's funny, the GoPro. All right, so. Hello, everybody. Nick Jim Pen is here. Nick Daniel's Pen here. Is in the chat. Or Nick's or? here. Yes. All right, Nick. Congratulations. You have won a Huddle Cam Go. We will ship this to you. I just need you to email me your address, which would be uh, just email me at paul.richards at huddlecamhd.com. Yay. Yay. Congratulations. I just posted my... Uh, Email in there. Congratulations. Very, very happy that you have won. So please just email me. And um, that's our show today, folks. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I hope you enjoyed the... Um, I hope you enjoyed the jokes in the beginning. I think they were funny. Tried my best. But congratulations, Nick. I'm so happy that you won. I'm so happy that we have somebody from San Francisco, um, West Coast, and uh, hopefully you'll share the Huddle Cam Go with your friends. Don't lock it away. Let people know about this. It's a great product. We definitely think you'll enjoy it. So um, enjoy. And uh, we will see you all next Friday. Take care, everybody.